so much of it, whether it's you're on a spiritual journey, a nutritional journey, what like mental, emotional, like it really is about, that was kind of my point of saying like, you have to figure out what kind of person am I? And if mm -hmm. you have all these internal things that you haven't figured out yet, or like, again, it's like, you know, getting like a manual, you know, when you buy a car and you're like, yeah, I'm never going to read this. Like, and you don't until your car breaks down and then you, you call your dad crying, you know, like, and at that point you should have read the manual a while ago. And that's when it, I think feels more difficult because you're like, I don't understand. Like there were all these lights that were going off on my dashboard and like whatever. And we just don't always listen. And again, it's like the, I'll do it later or I'll just get another, you know, degree or I'll run, I'll do this marathon or whatever it is like, but wherever you go, there you are. So like, I think that is like the stuff that makes the biggest difference, but it's the hardest thing. I mean, it's the mm -hmm. hardest thing for people to do because you have to look in the mirror and be like, it's, it's like when people end relationships, you know, it's so easy to be like, okay, you were a terrible person, but it's like, yeah, but you allowed it and you participated. So like where same thing with health, if they're like that diet was garbage or like that practitioner wasn't good. And I'm like, was that practitioner? Maybe they weren't, but like, were you compliant? Were you actually being honest? Like, were you really doing the assignments and the homework that they gave you? Like at some point you have to start taking account, like accountability and doing an honest audit of everything that's going on in your life, not just your diet and your supplements, but everything else, relationships, old patterns, old wounds, like looking back. And a lot of people don't want to do that. And I get that because it brings up a lot of stuff. It's triggering and then it makes it shittier. And then you're like, oh, Jesus. I'm like, I thought I was on step six and now I'm back to step three. And it's like, but that is a lot of life. It's two steps forward, one step back, four steps forward, two steps back. And like, that's just, I think sometimes you have to learn to just embrace that a little bit more. And like, sit with whatever season that you may be in, but that's, you know, there's not a supplement for that. So people are like, no, thank you. I'm not, I'm not interested. And then they're like, and yeah. And so now I'm not going to be in this box or whatever. Well, I think so much of it is also because they don't know what it looks like. Right. So I, and I, and I totally understand it. Cause I didn't, I didn't get it until it's so funny. Cause this mirror is like a spiritual awakening journey. Like I didn't understand what it meant to heal this underlying stuff until I was in the process. And I just had to say, yes, I'm doing it. I don't know what I'm getting into. And like, people will sometimes ask, how do I heal this? Or what can I do to heal this? And I'm like, I, I mean, I can't give you an answer right now. That's going to heal it right now. Like the process of healing it is like showing up in situations and containers, working with people where you're bringing it all up and moving through it. Like it is a commitment to the process. And people ask that question. I think sometimes with, with, from the same energy as, okay, I have this, I don't know. I have this pain in my body. What pill can I take? Yes. Oh, and I'm absolutely. like, like, I, I, how do you heal it? get yourself in a larger situation, like commit to the whole process. And you've got to jump into something where you don't know what's going to come up. Giving time, time, I think is one of the hardest things for people, myself included, mm -hmm. of anything to your point, like committing to the process. And for some people, yeah, again, depending on how deep your hole is that you dug yourself into, like, and that's, again, I think where the comparison game comes where they're like, well, my person did this, whatever emotional healing journey. And like in mm -hmm. three months, and you see it on social media too. They're like three months ago, I was in the worst place of my life. And now I'm blah, blah, blah. And then people feel shitty because that didn't happen for them. And it's like, right, but you have, you don't understand how much they actually committed, what other stuff was going on, like how deep their wounds were, if it was, you know, big T trauma or little T trauma, like there's all that goes into it. But it's like, to your point, just being like, fuck it, I'm going to come, I'm in this for the long haul. And I don't know how long that's going to take. There's not a date on a calendar would love to know that. But I think that's where, I mean, you talk a lot about this too, just like maybe asking for a sign to be like, okay, am I on the right path or like what's going on? And like leaning mm -hmm. into that more to be like, okay, these synchronicities are happening for a reason, or like these things are falling apart for a reason. So like we ask for that to happen and then it happens and we're like, no, 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 please don't like, please don't go away. Or like, why, <laughs> why is this happening? And it's, uh, it's like, but you asked for this, you know, mm -hmm. but like, we don't always, I think, put two and two together. 100%. And I think like going back to what you're saying about, are you actually showing up? to like the practitioner or the protocol. And I, this was a light bulb moment for me when I was working with different types of practitioners for my, uh, my emotional healing, where I realized, okay, I could go through years of therapy or coaching or whatever. And what I bring forward is a surface level shit, or I can go get in, I could go to the appointment and sit down and bring up my deepest, darkest fears. And I realized like, it's all about whatever I'm willing to bring forward. Right. So I better go, go in there. And I think that's why people get caught in this loop of I'm not getting anywhere because I know a lot of people who work with incredible practitioners and they're like, I didn't, 
I didn't go anywhere where it's like, were you just talking about what you did yesterday? Like yeah. that's not getting us anywhere. You have to bring up like the fears, the wounds, the, the worries, like you have to go deep and bring that forward. Otherwise you're not going to get anywhere. So like that is the commitment piece. Yeah. I think it's also interesting because like, to your point, when people might say I didn't get anywhere and it's like, that's not true because that means that you have a distorted definition of what failure then looks like, because even if you didn't get where you think you wanted to go, I would argue then that you did get something. Cause then you said, actually this I realized hasn't been for me. Like I had this conversations with people a lot that I work with where they'll say something like, well, you know, I've tried this diet or I've done this, or I've worked with this practitioner. And I'm like, great. It's you've figured out the things that you don't want or that don't work. And I give the analogy of it's like packing for a trip. You know, you lay out all the possible outfits that you think you want to bring. And then you're like, you know what? I realized that I'm actually not going to bring 70 pairs of jeans. The last time I went on this trip, I only needed one. And so I think it's, it's also just kind of having that mind shift or that language shift or whatever about being like, great, they weren't necessarily the best fit for me, but what I, you can't find one thing that you liked mm -hmm. or learned from the entire process, even if it was like the worst thing experience worst, which is subjective and relative to you, like then that to me says that's more of a you problem. And you probably have a lot more work to do before you even think about working with somebody else, which again, I think goes back to like externally, just putting your shit onto other people. And it's like, that's not my shit to flush. Like you need to figure that out first.